What's up, my beautiful nieces, Divine Feminine? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus and Divine Masculine. If you up in here, my handsome nephew, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Karmic Circus where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Divine Feminine. I already got your cards out here. And, um... This reading is all about Wastebasket Wayne. The karmic energy. Okay. Whoever this masculine is, he's a king of cups in reverse. It's like no matter what you try to do to make this person happy, you can't make them happy. You try to motivate this person, it don't work. There's a lot of arguments between you and this person. And the reason why this person is in the King of Cups energy is because he's on the down low. And the cards is, I, I guess that's what's going on for today. The energy about bisexual men that's on the down low. Not showing love to their woman because they don't want to be with that woman. They really want to be with a man, and that's what I'm getting here. The engagement ring is in reverse. We got Cupid's arrow, the Grim Reaper, I like you, girl talk, four of cups in reverse, the king of cups in reverse, tower, the seven of pentacles in reverse, and the four of wands. So, I get the sense of some evil eye. I get the sense that someone is trying to either make you afraid to scare you, to scare to spend the money that you work for. You could have been arguing with this person. This is a narcissistic motherfucker that, you know, basically he's just using a divine feminine. Okay. He's really into men, but he wants divine feminine to be the one to cover that up. Confirmation for somebody. This person, they may have put you in a friend zone. You tried to motivate them. You tried to inspire them. You, you know, nothing you did made this person happy. Nothing. And that's because they on the down low. Girl talk out here time with friends, moving on. Some of you divine feminists, you have moved on from this energy because you know that they on the down low. A lot of arguments between you and them. Ain't no sense in arguing. Even when you argue, this person was emotionally manipulating you. So the relationship is over. You could have been in love with this person And you could have, you know, thought the relationship was going somewhere, but it actually didn't go nowhere because this person is secretly into men. This purple person, they may wear a lot of purple. That could be a sign. They could be wearing rainbow shit. They could wear a lot of purple. That's so fucked up that the, the lesbian and gay community has taken the colors, the purple. The color purple represents royalty. It represents your third eye. I mean, and your crown chakra. Um, It's like, and they took the rainbow. And the rainbow... It's the symbol that God said he'll never flood the world again. But I also see that rainbow has the same seven colors as the seven chakras. Confirmation. Okay. The same colors of, as the rainbow. But somebody likes the color purple. So. Show me the energy of Mr. Milk and Cookies. This is Mr. Milk and Cookies. This is the man who's a divine feminine is in a relationship with. He ain't been showing no emotions. 
he ain't been showing no love. You know, he's not nurturing. It's like he don't give a fuck because he really don't. Because he's he gives a fuck about men. Okay. Cut off from abundance until they tell you the truth. Yeah. Somebody was born a boy. That's in this masculine's energy. So he may like transsexuals. He may be in love with a transsexual. He may have with Cupid's arrow out here shit. He could have got stuck right in the ass. <laughs> yeah. This masculine, he got stuck in the ass by Cupid's arrow. <laughs> and he liked it. <laughs> it made him, made him, you know, is Cupid a boy or a girl? Cupid is a boy, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so this person is going to lose their abundance until they tell you that they're on the down low. They don't see a future with them. X. Okay, so... This masculine, he's treating a divine feminine. They're, they're, he's, this is somebody who's bisexual, and his ex is a transsexual. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm getting here, this masculine, it's like, This is a, 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 a fuck boy, okay? It's like, he's, I feel like he's mad at himself because he like men. And he know, you know, he got to be with that community to where they bully you into accepting who you are. Who they are. When they're not really who they are. If you feel me. But this is a masculine, he's, he's bisexual. And his ex is a man. And him and this ex, they would sit around and, and, and possibly play video games and eat milk and cookies. Yeah. This is why he didn't he didn't propose to you, Divine Feminine. Because he's into men. The engagement ring is in reverse. He could have been actually scared to propose to you because of his fucking ex. His ex, his ex could be um, sending evil eye to you. This is, again, the energy of a bunch of men hanging around each other, eating milk and cookies and shit, doing spell work, sending evil eye to women. I'm going to stay on this subject, and a lot of people be like, why is it, why are you talking about men on the down low? I'm not talking about men on the down low. I'm, I'm talking about the men that's, well, they on the down low. And they out here having unprotected sex with feminines that don't, don't you know, that's not aware that they're on the down low. So if this energy is fitting towards you and you with a man and he ain't showing you no fucking love, he act like he hates you sometimes, um, you're arguing, He's always on the phone or hanging out with his homeboys. That motherfucker is, is most likely on the down low. And he's hating the fact that he got to be in a relationship with a woman where he really don't want to be. But he got to put that energy out like he's in a women. And he's mad. And he don't want to be like that. He want to be out in the open. But he's, he's afraid of what society may think. Yeah. So he's not showing no love to a divine feminine. All because he wants to be with a man instead of just telling her. But they'll go around and, and, and build a whole fucking relationship. See? They want to open up and tell you, but they scared. Well, they're not going to receive no abundance until they tell the truth. Their abundance is being cut off. 
something about an Airbnb and this this card don't even belong in this deck. Why is this Airbnb up in here? This person could have been, you know, them and they in this cult people, this group of men wearing a false mask, they all fake. They all gay, okay? And they all mad because they gotta hide this shit. They can't be who they wanna be. So they look at you like you been did something to them and you ain't did shit to them. They just mad at themselves because they can't be they self. They scared to be they self. And see, the Divine Feminines is, is now walking away and don't see a future with a man who likes getting his boots clapped. Show me more. Unaffected. Yeah, see, with the King of Cups in reverse and, and this unaffected energy, this person is like... No matter what you're going through, it's like they don't have your back. They don't care. That's because this motherfucker is in the men. And he despises women. And him and his little fruity friends, they get together and they talk about women. They send evil eye to women. They cause arguments and fights to women. They send energy to where the women, you know, would need them to be codependent on them, to where... They're afraid to spend their own money to where you got to go to them. Yeah. It's like they 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 want you to be all in love with them or they end some shit with you and you still be, you know, chasing and running behind you. They'll put you in a in a uh, a friend zone. And the girl talk out here, that's these motherfuckers. They gossip like bitches because that's all they are. I don't know who energy this is, but somebody is dealing with somebody who's drinking milk and cookies when they with their homeboys when they should be drinking beer and wine and, and you know I'm I'm just saying what me, things that men do these motherfuckers is doing the, the opposite shit okay but they running around they saying they straight but they 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 the purple purple something I don't know why Pur purple pussy hoppers purple pussy poppers is what I heard I just didn't want to say it okay now he's stressed out warning card pull from the bottom stress prison and jail and a breakup you see, some of you, you could have been wanting to get pregnant by this masculine and you can never get pregnant by him. That's because he's a karmic. Okay, and you couldn't get pregnant by him. Now they're blaming the karmic for lying on you. You couldn't get pregnant by this person because the Most High God didn't want you to get pregnant because they know that this person is into the same sex. You could have been all in love with this person. You in love with these people, with this person, and people are extremely attracted to you. This could be why he wanted to be in a relationship with you. Because you make him look good. You make the relationship look good. Because you are a divine feminine. Yeah. But so for some of you, this is why this motherfucker ain't, ain't showing no love to you. Because they into men. Yeah. Emergency, emergency, you hear them fire trucks. So I'm going to go to my Romeo and Juliet deck. surrounding this king of cups in reverse 
when it comes to divine feminine. Mm. Poison. Something harmful and destructive. You may have felt this person was, was harmful or they was trying to be destructive to your life. Um, they could be around someone who's poisoning their mind. Or this person could have, you know, they, they could have actually tried to poison you. But some of you, they could have, or they may be trying to since you broke up with them. Somebody tried to poison somebody and they could have went to jail. If this motherfucker hates you that much, instead of poisoning a divine feminine, just walk the fuck away. Or tell her that you like getting your ass clapped. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't sugarcoat this shit. You running around here, you friend zoned her, and then you put you send evil eye to her? The fuck is wrong with you, masculine? But you don't want her to tell you goodbye. You don't want it to be over. Because you, you need her. A wrong decision. Incorrect direction. A dark deal. Somebody, somebody, see, okay, so for some of you, this motherfucker tried to poison you. All because he liked men. The fuck? I'm like, damn, you really want to take away a divine feminist life because you can't stand up and be who the fuck you want to be or you claim to be? We're saying blaming the karmic for lying on you. He's blaming you, Divine Feminine. He's the one lying and blaming you for some shit. If they thought this shit was funny, it ain't funny no more. Okay? Tell me about Mercio. Mercio. Mercutio. Mercutio. Somebody thought it was funny that they tried to poison you or making a joke out of somebody trying to poison you, Divine Feminine, you could have told this masculine that somebody tried to poison you and he laughed about it or something. You could have broke up behind them. You know, if he thinking it's funny that somebody tried to poison you. Yeah. You could have told him that you think his family member or somebody in his family, a, a close friend to him, tried to poison you. nothing else so yeah i guess i'm gonna stop it right here but this this masculine whoever he is he's not showing love to a divine feminine because he's fucking men okay it is what it is and i'm gonna tell it without sugarcoating I'm gonna tell you the truth because the truth tells me that this this is a masculine energy or masculines that's on a fucking download treating a divine feminine like shit not showing them no love, no affection, because they're they're attracted to me. So ladies, be aware of that. If you're in a relationship with a motherfucker and he's not nurturing you, he's not holding you, caressing you, when you have sex with him, he it, there's no forward sex where you can look in the face. He always want to do shit from the back. Um, there's no eye contact, no sexual, you know... Um, it's just you can tell it's something different about him. That motherfucker is on the down low. All right? I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.